Does Stephen Curry deserve to win this year's NBA MVP award? Curry has dominated the NBA for the past decade, but it still seems as though people around the NBA still overlook him. They forget that he won back-to-back -back MVPs in 2014 and 2015, not to mention the guy is also a three-time NBA champion. What is going on guys, Ball Till Fall here with another video. Now before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more basketball content like this one. Now let's get started with the video. The only thing holding Curry back from being at the top of the MVP conversation is his team. With Clay out the past couple of years, the Warriors haven't been the team we're accustomed to seeing. They didn't make the playoffs last year, and they look to barely make it this year. Despite this, Curry has been nothing but spectacular this past year, averaging 31.3 points, 5.6 rebounds, and 5.8 assists per game, while knocking down an absurd 5.2 three-pointers per game. To really put in perspective how incredible these numbers are, let's go back to Curry's MVP seasons and see what kind of stats he was putting up. In 2015, he averaged 23.8 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 7.7 .7 assists per game, while hitting 3.6 threes a game. Nothing too crazy, but the Warriors were the one seed this season, and they won the NBA championship. Now looking at 2016 Curry, he decided to take it up a notch and averaged 30.1 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 6.7 .7 assists per game, while making 5.1 threes per game. When comparing all of these stats, it is pretty clear that Curry is playing on another level this season. Not to mention, his percentages are also up compared to his other MVP seasons. So to say that Curry is having the best statistical year of his entire career, that should instantly put him up there in the MVP talks. The only argument against him is that his team just simply isn't winning. The Warriors are by no means a bad team, but they aren't great either. Wiggins and Oubre are extremely inconsistent and cannot be relied on. Draymond does take some ball handling and playmaking pressure off of Curry, but the fact that he can't shoot really hurts their team. The Warriors currently sit at the 9th spot in the West, which would have them in the playing tournament. Most people would look at Curry and the Warriors and say there is no shot Curry can win MVP, including myself. The MVP has notoriously been won by players whose team is a 1 or 2 and sometimes 3 seed. The only exception of this was when Westbrook had a historic season of averaging a triple-double with OKC the year after Durant left for Golden State. They were a 6 seed that year. The 9th or the 10th seed, or even if the Warriors make the 8th seed, that's just a little bit too much of a stretch, and I understand that. When thinking about other MVP candidates in Jokic and Embiid, it makes me think about what it really means to be an MVP. From my understanding, the MVP is the person who is a top 5 talent in the league and is also the most valuable player to his team, that if he wasn't there, their team would absolutely suck. Now looking back at last year, Curry missed the majority of that season which led to the Warriors being the worst team in the NBA with a 15-50 and 50 record. Now with Curry back in the lineup, the Warriors record now is about at 500. Embiid missed some time a little after the All-Star break and without him, his team was still able to play at a high level and win games. Simmons and Tobias Harris were both ready and capable of stepping in and carrying the load of this team. Now obviously having a beat helps them tremendously, but it was shown that he wasn't needed as much as we all thought. The Sixers are still a respectable playoff team in the East without Joel Embiid. I still believe Jokic deserves to win the MVP award this season, but Curry needs to be in the conversation and should be voted as the runner-up. And if the Warriors were a top 3 seed this year, Curry would be the undisputed most valuable player of the NBA season. Do you guys think Curry deserves to win the MVP over Jokic, or is his crazy statistical season not enough? Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And until next time, ball till fall, out.